Uh, dear participants, welcome to the presentation of the 32nd APMA World Congress program. The Congress is dedicated to the project management and will be held offline in St. Petersburg and online from uh, 21 to 23 of September 2021. My name is Vinyamin Kiziev. I am a director of uh, the 32nd APMA World Congress and uh, I will be moderating today's webinar. The webinar will last one hour. A recording of the webinar will be sent to participants and posted on the Congress website. Okay, now I give the floor to President of the Association of Project Management, Sovnet, Alexander Tov. Alexander. Dear colleagues, dear friends, it's a very big pleasure for me to invite you again to 32nd IPMA World Congress in St. Petersburg. You know, we planned and prepared this Congress for the September 2020, but due to COVID-19 pandemic situation, we postponed it to one year. And now it is a month before a Congress. We again invite you to participate in the Congress and the Congress will be uh, performed in blended format, in combination of offline participation on site and online broadcasting in internet. Um, the date of Congress is 22nd, 23rd of September. And uh, the place is St. Petersburg. Nice city. We want to see you in St. Petersburg uh, in September. Next slide, please. Um, the Congress, IPMA World Congress, is always the biggest and most important uh, event, professional event, which consists of three uh, major parts. First part is Young Crew Global Workshop. Will take place on uh, sa from Saturday 18 till Monday 20, and it is a separate event. And our colleague will tell you a little bit more detailed about, about it. Oh, it's always very mm, interesting, very mm, dynamic and uh, uh, attractive uh, event. Young crew doing it by themselves without only our support and assistance. And as Congress, it has two major uh, aspects. One is a program which is a um, very interesting and uh, useful. And another is networking of our young uh, generation of professionals. Uh, the pro pro program part of the Congress will take place from uh, Tuesday, uh, September 21st till uh, Thursday, September 23rd. It will uh, take place in a holiday in uh, Moskovsky Varota, St. Petersburg Hotel and Congress Hall, which is a nice place for star a hotel with a Congress hall made in a uh, Jugendstahl uh, architecture. Um, very convenient uh, venue. Uh, and of course, uh, we will have a very um, uh, strong uh, program. Uh, our colleague, Aksana Klemenka, deputy head of the uh, program committee of the Congress and uh, vice president of IPMA will tell you about this more details but it will have a lot of offline and online events inside it. And of course, all this time was working the exhibition. Uh, it is about 20 booths at the exhibition and our partners and um, companies from the market will present their uh, products, services and um, themselves. Uh, as the exhibition. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we will tell you a little bit more details uh, later on. And uh, the very important part of the Congress is social activities. Of course, we will have a, a welcome party in the first day, Tuesday 21st. And I can assure you that it will be a nice uh, event with a traditional hot, uh, Russian warm Russian hospitality. 
Um, the, another one is a gala dinner, which will um, consist from two or say three big parts. First part is a, a war IPMA project excellence award ceremony. It will be performed in a blended format. The uh, winners of the award will be announced from the um, studio from Warsaw, Poland. And all participants in St. Petersburg will uh, uh, sit at the tables at the gala dinner and uh, celebrate uh, winners of the award. There will be two uh, Russian teams uh, participating in the award from Sberbank, and uh, we will pray for their success and we'll celebrate uh, their achievements, I hope. Uh, and it will be some music, dances, and uh, other um, concert uh, parts. Uh, after this, we will perform the uh, ceremony of uh, celebration of, win of winners of uh, best project of the year, Russian contest, and it will be devoted to uh, 32nd anniversary of Sovnet. We are celebrating our 31st anniversary at this gala. And of course, uh, gala dinner is always a networking, uh, fun, <coughs> and it will be uh, <coughs> finished at uh, midnight. <coughs> Sorry for it. Um, and uh, on Friday 24th, we will have the IPMA internal meetings, uh, certification system panel, finance committee meeting, advisory committee meeting, other committee meetings, <coughs> and a virtual council of delegates will take place on Saturday 25th. The uh, delegates of uh, Council of Delegates who will come to St. Petersburg will together participate in this uh, online event and have a chance for networking uh, during it and around it. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander, uh, to share this information. And of course, uh, we get a lot of questions about the most important things in the Congress about the program. Who will be the speakers? What topics will be? A lot of work um, has been done. Many participants from different countries have worked in the program committee. And our next speaker will tell you more about the program. Our next speaker is Vice President of IPMA, Deputy Chairman of the Programming Committee of uh, IPMA World Congress, Klimenka Aksana. Thank you, Vinyamin. Um, hello, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends. Um, let's go deeper into details regarding the program on the World, of the World Congress. We have seven streams, that is plus one stream uh, from the webinar that we announced before. And we are glad to say that our program was growing and growing and we have more participants as a keynote speakers, invited speakers and paper presenters. So we have to um, expand our streams time slots and uh, we are glad now that we have six streams online and one stream that will be on site for those who can travel and who will come to participate in St. Petersburg World Congress um, uh, in on site. So we have totally more than 140 speakers from different countries and uh, almost all the continents are covered. Um, so we have the simultaneous translation from uh, English into Russian and from Russian into English. And this will be uh, prepared by our organizing committee to provide this translation uh, for all the participants, both on site, offline and online. Uh, more than that, all the recordings of all our streams and presentations will be available for one month after the Congress finishes. So if you can attend during the Congress, one or two streams, and uh, if you can participate in some offline events coming to St. Petersburg, you will have the opportunity also to catch up 
and uh, have the availability uh, and the access to the online recordings for all the streams so you can listen and you can learn more from the Congress uh, within one month after the Congress finishes. Okay, now I will have uh, the time and uh, I will introduce you uh, to more details of each streams. We have uh, five streams that are organized according to the certain topics that is not changing. So we have the perspective stream talking about the context of project, uh, project programs and portfolios in the organizations. We have people stream where we talk about the people and the teams and how the project managers work in this environment of the digital transformation era. We will have this special stream during all the three days about the agility of organizations and projects. And we will talk about the methodologies and approaches. This is a very interesting trend um, where we can see how the hybridization is being made during the last few years uh, in project management, what new methodologies and new approaches appear. And we will talk about the practice in practice stream. This is about cases. This is about sharing the experience for those who can present their examples and for those who can listen and learn from the first hands uh, from the experienced speakers. Uh, we have added the SIG stream. This is a special interest groups of IPMA where you can choose um, your industry or sector and uh, you can join these events also to listen and be part of these interesting presentations and discussions in your industry or sector. Um, we have offline stream for those who are coming to St. Petersburg and we are happy to um, see how many people can travel. So we expect many participants and the whole stream will be dedicated to the discussions, uh, to the round tables, on the hot topics um, about this uh, one. Um, we will also tell you later what is in, in this offline stream program. So seven streams you can choose, you can pick up and you can register for the whole Congress program and you can pick up the most interesting topics for you during the three days and after the three days, you can have the access to all the streams program and uh, you can also learn and you can also listen within one month and have all these recordings available. Okay, let's go to the plenary sessions. Of course, at the Congress, we will have the plenary opening sessions and the closing uh, days and the whole Congress sessions. And during the plenary sessions, uh, we invited from different countries, the most experienced experts and uh, we also follow the diversity trend here. Uh, we would like to have uh, our keynote speakers both from Russia and uh, other countries. Uh, we would like to uh, listen to Karen Amram from France, who will be talking about the experience. And uh, from the practical perspective, she will talk and share about the ecosystems uh, environment in the digital transformation uh, organizations. We will have the opportunity to learn about the project management and the digital transformation on the national level from our two experts from Russia. They will talk about this uh, uh, project management organizations and development in uh, public sector. We are happy to have Reinhard Wagner, uh, the ex-president of IPMA, uh, who will talk about the project management trends uh, globally. Uh, and the, the main question is, who is uh, the person that we call PM 4.0 in the industry 4.0? Uh, we are very happy, and this is a great honor for us, uh, to host uh, Dr. Hiroshi Tanaka from Japan, uh, one of the founders of the P2M um, standard. And uh, he is our special guest who will also share his views about the project management and the future. And we're happy to announce Dean Rongu, uh, Rongui from China as a keynote speaker. Uh, he's been uh, for years and years uh, a friend of Sovnet and uh, we have very close connections uh, with him. So he will talk about the digital govern governance systems. 
Um, we also glad to announce that uh, uh, our deputy head of project management office of Russian Federation confirmed his participation and uh, he will greet um, our participants at the Congress at the plenary session and he will share the experience of Russian Federation uh, about the fulfillment of the national projects and uh, the systematic approaches. So it's uh, a, a great honor for us to have him as a special guest and uh, to um, make the presentation as a keynote speaker. Okay, let's move on. Um, talking about the invited speakers, we have a very great variety. Uh, as you can see, there are some of the names here, uh, for sure, from different countries and continents. And uh, this is a great diversity for us. The online format allows us to have the speakers from all over the world. No boundaries for this. And you can see that we have Michael Jackson, who will talk about the system thinking and critical thinking that is very important in the digital transformation era in project management and the impact of critical thinking on the project management success. Dr. Yvonne Schopa from Germany will talk about the people and motivating people and teams in this uh, volunteers and nonprofit organizations. This is a very interesting topic. Uh, when the volunteers are not paid and non-for-profit organizations uh, fulfill many projects, what is a driver here for the people and how to motivate the team to fulfill the tasks and uh, to get the results done. Uh, Dr. Josef Ofman uh, will talk about the resilience, resilience and uh, agility. And this is on the one hand, a very contradictive topic, uh, but uh, due to the brilliant speaker, you will learn how to combine these two things in the project management and uh, how to provide both resilience for the organizations and agility in the organizations to have a better success in large projects. Uh, Marina Alex uh, represents the United States of America here, and uh, she will talk about the um, application uh, of individual, um, uh, individuals and organizations. And uh, her topic is about uh, agility and the competencies in a non-IT uh, area. This is a very interesting approach and Marina will share with you her uh, great practice for many, many years. She's been involved in the non-IT agile projects. So it's a great opportunity to learn from her. We have Peter Koshman from uh, Netherlands who will talk about resilience and agility and uh, who will be the moderator. He's one of the program committee drivers of the agile stream. So let's learn and uh, uh, have a great opportunity to listen to Peter's experience. Uh, Lisi Monelli from Australia, as a keynote speaker, will present uh, his uh, view on the people and project managers and how they can survive in the digitalization era. And uh, so it, it will be a very good um, uh, very good presentation. And after that, the panel discussion, how to survive in a digital world um, and what should be done by the project manager. This is also uh, just one part of all our speakers. So um, you can learn from the pro program that is uh, announced in our website of the Congress, and you can find more speakers' names. They are all great experts both from academic field and from practice. So it's a great opportunity to choose, to think now and uh, choose the topics that you are interested in and uh, uh, make a plan for yourself, make a schedule for yourself, which speaker is most attractive for you and then make your choice and subscribe for this session or stream. Okay, uh, now we move to the perspective stream and um, uh, I will, share with you in more details about uh, each of the stream content. Uh, first one is perspective and context. And you see how uh, tough the program is and uh, how many papers and plenary sessions and offline events are there in this uh, stream. So it would be very interesting uh, topic for those who are 
uh, working in the organizations and who are thinking about the organizations uh, that help project management, program management, and portfolio management. The keynote speaker is Ding Rongru from China, and he will share his experience about the company Huawei, how to um, systemize and how to build up the governance system for project management in the company. Um, we will talk about the uh, organizations uh, who made a great effort to assess their project management corporate systems, uh, making this certification by IPMA Delta. And uh, here is a, a great session, a great opportunities for our attendees to learn from the first hands uh, from the organizations, how they did this assessment, uh, why they tried to improve their project management corporate systems working. Uh, we will have the unique opportunity to listen to both sides of assessment. We will have the assessors from one side and we will have the representatives of the company from the other side. So you see that the companies from Russia, Kazakhstan, Italy, Spain, and Sweden will talk about this assessment and how this assessment helped to improve organizational performance of projects, programs, and portfolios. Uh, the next interesting topic is about resilience in organizations that is changing in the world. And we have great speakers here from our different countries. Uh, we will meet Vladimir Obradovich, Marisa Silva, Luis Marcos, from Serbia, Portugal, and um, uh, we have also other uh, speakers in this topic, so you can join and listen and learn about the resilience of organizations in this VUCA world. Uh, speaking about the special global customer events, um, you see the names of the companies, they uh, big global customers and big global companies uh, who have improved their personnel competence doing the certification programs, training and education and certification programs for the personnel for all levels for project program and portfolio managers in their companies. Uh, what could be the benefits? Uh, why these companies decided to do this? How they, they uh, work on the regular basis with the training programs and certification programs and what kind of benefits they have um, fulfilling these programs and uh, um, getting the more competent people in their organizations. This is a, a unique opportunity at the World Congress as well to have this special event because um, not always the companies are open to share with their internal processes or internal programs. This time uh, they decided to have two sessions and uh, uh, the really experienced speakers from these companies, uh, such as Thales, Infineon, Alstom, uh, Siemens Energy, Siemens Gamesa, Renault, they will share openly with all the participants uh, how they build up these training programs and get the results with certifying people and making the better results with better competent people. Uh, we will talk as well about the strategies, structures, and processes, about the cultures, about the standards, all the environment that helps to fulfill projects, programs, and portfolios. And uh, we will have the panel discussions uh, with uh, uh, Pavel Alferov from uh, Russian Federation, uh, with the excellent panelists uh, who will share their uh, experience in uh, project management in the digital uh, transformation projects and programs. Uh, you will have the opportunity to meet speakers from uh, such companies like Rosatom, uh, Roscosmos, and uh, others here uh, to learn from, from them how they made this transformation and what could be the lessons learned for your companies as well. So welcome to this perspective and context uh, session uh, that will be for the whole three days. And you can see on the website uh, the time slots that you can choose and join um, if you like these topics and if you are interested in organizational competence um, in project management. Uh, now we move on to the other stream. 
and uh, this is practice. Everything about practice, experience, cases, and sharing. Um, we have here the new challenges and the new approaches topic. And um, one of them is really very provocative. Um, I will present you one of the speakers. His name is Darren Dulcher. He is from UK. Um, and the topic is a good fail is better than a bad success. So let's speak about the failure and the success of the projects and uh, share the experience and then have the panel discussion uh, with the participants from different countries, uh, which, uh, which uh, who, are very in, who are very interested and experienced speakers, and they will share their, um, their own experience and they will discuss with each other uh, these hot topics about failure and success. So we will have the representatives uh, from different companies such as Airflot, uh, such as Bearbank, and um, they will talk about Beargile, what was the success story and uh, how they achieved the results. So this is a good opportunity uh, to learn from, from the field, if you want. Um, we will also have the brilliant speakers who will talk about the ecosystems of project management and how they applied in different uh, sectors and different spheres and industries. Um, and uh, uh, we will talk about the virtual and hybrid project teams here. So uh, this is uh, the stream. Uh, we invite you to join if you like to learn about the experience and if you like to learn and share your experience here please participate and book your time slots for, for this uh, stream. Now the next one is uh, about people. Uh, we can move to, to the other slide. Yes, thank you. Uh, people in project management, this is, uh, like I say, forever green topic, um, never ending topic because people are projects and uh, we have to be sure that our project managers and the team members and the sponsors and everybody who is involved in project management um, have to, to be competent on one hand and have to have the balance between the work and life. And in this Congress, uh, this is a peculiarity that uh, we find out. Um, our speakers decided to talk about well-being. Um, they decided to talk about psychological and physiological health that can help to uh, survive in this uh, digital and VUCA world for project managers. This is a very interesting stream uh, presented by 24 papers, four plenary sessions and two offline events for those who can travel and who can come physically to St. Petersburg. Projects in VUCA world, um, we will have the keynote speaker here. His name is Nico Volensky from UK. And uh, after this uh, main topic, he will set the stage for the panel discussion about the projects and project managers who are living in the changing world. Um, what kind of uh, changing for the project management uh, we will have in this VUCA world and what could we do? The human factor in project management, this is about the health, the balance, uh, between life and work, and uh, this is about the preventing burnout and uh, about achieving the well-being of uh, people who work in project programs and portfolios. And we have a very diverse team of speakers here. They come from different countries, uh, Australia, Nepal, UK, Malaysia. Among the keynote speakers in this session, we will have uh, Brian Cracknell from Malaysia, He's from UK, but has been living in, the, in Malaysia for many years. Suraj Dahal from Nepal, uh, Paul Hodgings from uh, UK. And um, there will be the panel discussion on this very important topic, how not to burn out and how to survive in, in, uh, in this VUCA world in the digitalization era of project management. Um, we will talk about the new approaches in professional development. And that would be the um, session with the keynote Martina Human from Austria. Uh, she is a professor at the university and uh, she is the chief editor of the main uh, project management journal. 
We have also great speakers and the panelists here uh, in this discussion. And the main topic is um, about uh, learning through life and about the profession, uh, how to make this journey nice and uh, how to make it more effective. And uh, uh, we will have as well uh, a very interesting offline event. This is about Cyber PM. Um, this is uh, about uh, PM versus Cyber PM. So we know that artificial intelligence, robotization, and all the other uh, information technologies influence project managers. So is there any room for project manager as a personality? or everything should be changed and everything should be replaced uh, and people should be replaced by uh, the technology. So this is about the balance uh, between the humanitarian and technological competencies. A very interesting discussion. Um, I should mention also that all our offline events will be streaming uh, with having the simultaneous translation as well. So if you, cannot come and physically participate in this offline event. You can join online and the streaming will be available. Let's go to the next slide, please. Um, this is uh, the stream about methodology and approaches in project management. And we have these uh, plenary sessions and uh, paper presentations, as well as keynote and invited uh, papers here. Among the keynote speakers, you can see Sergei Bushur from Ukraine, who will share his views about new approaches and project methodologies, about the interrelations between different approaches, and about hybridization of different approaches in project management. We have also Morten Funkel from Denmark, uh, who will participate and uh, uh, talk as an invited speaker about uh, his thinking and approaches in the digital era. Um, Nikos Kauranakis from Greece will speak about the uh, European standard for project management as a new approach, together with Vladimir Obradovich, and Vladimir Obradovich will be also the moderator of, of the panel. Um, we have invited and uh, we are proud to have Gilbert Silvers from Netherlands as a speaker on the sustainability in project management and all the competencies connected to that topic. And we will have Sergei Nizvesnin, Mladen Radulkovic from Croatia, and uh, many, many other speakers. Um, besides keynotes, we have invited speakers and paper presenters here all about methodologies, smartification of project management, and methods and techniques. Okay, and uh, we're going to the uh, next slide, please. This is the uh, stream about agility of organizations and projects. And this is uh, um, the agile team that was working in agile approach. Um, this is a special team in our program committee. And all people are very much experienced in this topic, in agile approaches. Uh, we will have uh, brilliant speakers, uh, Reinhard Wagner from Germany and Alexei Polkovnikov from Russia, who will talk about the agile management practices and hybridization of approaches. Um, of the traditional approach, traditional approach and agile approach in the companies. Uh, so it's a very interesting, it's a, a very um, provocative uh, topic and uh, uh, we are uh, waiting for this presentation with all our impatience and attention. Uh, another speaker uh, uh, with more than 20 years of experience in agile one of the founders of Agile Manifesto. His name is Ari van Venekum from Netherlands. And he uh, will talk about the methodology and uh, some practical examples, how uh, the Agile approach can help to reach the better results. Uh, we have also our active speakers and participants from different countries, uh, like Vladimir Ivanovs from Latvia, Erik Manson from Sweden, and Josef Hochman from Denmark, who will talk on the Agile lessons learned topic, Agile stories, and how to learn from Agile. Is it a, uh, an ongoing process through all life, through all projects, 
and uh, how could we do this? How could we learn from each other? Um, we will have Rebecca Vlahov uh, Volomezic from Croatia, who will be the moderator of these stories. And uh, we think and we expect that there will be some more uh, surprises in this agile um, and uh, projects, agility and project stream. So we're looking forward for this program to be uh, fulfilled. And uh, we invite you kind, kindly now to um, think about your most interesting topics and to book the time sessions, the time slots according to the program for each stream. And you can also learn from our website and book your time slots for any session, any panel discussion or just presentations if you like to join. Um, this is the whole program on our website. And of course it's been changing and uh, we expect that there will be some changes uh, as always. So we are a little bit agile, having online, offline already. And uh, really, you have the great opportunity to look on the website program and pick up and uh, book time slots to attend this or that stream online event or offline event. OK, we go to the next slide now. And uh, the sixth uh, stream, it's about special interesting groups that we will have in online format. And I will give the floor to Benjamin now to share with you about this SIG events program. Thank you. Thank you, Oksana. Thank you for this uh, value information about program of uh, our Congress. It's really beautiful program. I, I, I suppose amazing speakers and amazing value. Okay, uh, a little about SIG uh, in general. Uh, six special interest group, um, IPMA creates more and more opportunities for exchange of experience and development of professional project management. And we all know uh, the trend for development of project management in uh, concrete, in particular industries and sectors. Those six are groups for discussing industry of um, or different uh, thematic, uh, different issues. And a large number of events are held where uh, practitioners exchange cases on topics from different countries. The list of SIG you see on the screen, these um, artificial intelligence, healthcare innovation and change and other and other. If you want to find out more information, then visit the SIG uh, IPMA website and be a part of this community. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, it's reason why we made a decision to locate a separate stream for SIG events. You can see the list of events on the screen. Uh, they largely correspond to the SIG topics. Importantly, this is an opportunity to get to know uh, the different SIG groups and join the community. Therefore, we expect there will be a live discussion by topics and there will be also, um, a lot of cases from different countries, um, for example, uh, artificial intelligence from Georgia and from different countries of Europe, healthcare, uh, great cases from Brazilian health management and market, innovation and change uh, from uh, the USA and other countries, uh, smart cities and smart rural, great case um, about Cape Town, and if we speak about smarter university, uh, it will be different experience about project management universities from Germany, Austria, uh, and absolutely other countries. Um, I suppose it's all information about our program, but uh, of course, in addition to the business program of the Congress, networking is a very important component, very important. I do not remember all the and all articles that were at the previous Congress in Mexico, but I remember very well the people I met. We keep in touch with many of them. Many people from year to year participate in the Congress to get new contacts, discuss their ideas and so on. And of course, we designed the program so that everyone uh, has this opportunity. It will be available for both offline participants and online participants. Our platform that we use uh, allows uh, all participants to make meetings, communicate and find contacts. It's really a big component of our Congress. And uh, of course, uh, next slide, please. Um, 
the exhibition is also interesting. Um, an exhibition where the IPMA exposition will be, and it will be possible to meet with the IPMA leadership, for example, discuss question of interest to you. Also, where will the booth uh, of the next Congress, uh, next Congress uh, will be in Japan, as well as uh, different booths of companies that develop products for project management. The exhibition will also be online and offline, and we see that it will be a place for networking and agreement of new projects. Also, in the Congress, in addition to the main program, 21st, 23 September, will be other activity and other events. For example, from September 18th to 20th, uh, the Global Young Crew Workshop will be held a project um, um, a project management event for professional under the age of uh, 35 and students. The program will be told by Evgenia Sergeyeva, uh, Global Young Crew Workshop uh, Preparation Project Manager. Evgenia, uh, yes, I see your presentation. Thank you, Vinyamin. Hello, everyone, your friends. I will represent uh, Global Young Crew Workshop to you. Uh, this workshop will be held in St. Petersburg, too, uh, from 18th to 20th of September. Uh, this event will be held in two formats, online and offline. Uh, it means that our participants can choose the option. If they choose online, they get access for uh, 19th of September uh, for a business program. Uh, if our participants will choose offline format, they will get access to our social events uh, like welcome excursions, welcome party, farewell party, open, open air quest, and so on. Um, important thing that we have uh, our own uh, online platform for this event uh, when, where our participant can uh, find uh, all information about our program, about our, I don't know, speakers, about uh, excursions and so on. And uh, moreover, they can speak with each other and uh, this platform provides effective communication and networking of our event. Um, excursions, uh, on the first day we will have excursions uh, along the rivers uh, or rooftop tour uh, for our participants. Then in the end of the day, we have welcome party where our participants and speakers can meet each other and communicate in informal atmosphere. And the last day we have open air quest and uh, it's little secret. We will share concept of this quest later with our participants, but it will be great and interesting uh, event and the final of our um, event it's pharaoh party with a rock concert yes i will show you the place for this event later next uh, on the screen we you can see our business program uh, we have uh, two halls first the first hall for lectures and the second for workshops. Uh, our speakers are founders of uh, successful startups and professionals from largest uh, international companies like Siemens or MasterCard. Uh, speakers and topics, you can say them on this screen. And uh, the final of this day will be presentation of the nominees uh, of the young PM of the year, uh, we will see these great projects of this year. Uh, yes, we have different topics on our business program, and uh, I'm sure that each participant can choose something interesting and uh, useful for him in our um, program. Uh, next, uh, we will our Business program will take place in Sokol Palace Bridge Hotel. It's very beautiful and historic place in Saint Petersburg. 
uh, you can see a lot of museums and beautiful places, cafes uh, near this hotel. Uh, moreover, we, we will use another locations for our event. For example, for welcome party, we will use pub where I told you, yes, <laughs> where our participants and speakers will meet together, bring some drinks, yes, and uh, communicate with each other. And uh, the last place for the last day for farewell, farewell party and the rock concert, it's a restaurant scene. Uh, it will be a big rock concert with a cover group and uh, the most famous Russian uh, rock hits. Um, yes, thank you for your attention. We are waiting for you at the Global Young Crew Workshop. If you have some questions, you can write them on this email that you can see on the slide. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, Evgenia. Uh, it's really amazing events, I suppose. One week in St. Petersburg or one week uh, online with uh, Global Yankee Workshop and Congress. And um, I want uh, that, uh, Alexander, maybe you share a few words about other events, which are also important in our uh, program, and about some partners uh, of our Congress. Alexander? Partners. This is a slide with partners. I don't think that, oh, sorry. I don't think that I need uh, to say something about events. It's enough, I think. I, I need, it's why I'm very grateful to say a few words about official, our official partner. It is engineering division of Rosatom State Corporation uh, named uh, Atom Stray Export, ASE, Rosatom. And, um, I need to say that uh, we will have a special event uh, organized by this partner. And it is uh, the uh, Sustainable Project Management Summit, uh, which will, uh, in, in which will participate not only this division of Rosatom, but also other divisions of this state corporation. And ESG uh, the, uh, the thematic is very important for uh, our uh, uh, Rosatom partner now, and we invite all our partic participants to uh, visit these events. Uh, it will be much more wider than only uh, Ros with Rosatom experience. Uh, we will in involve also other uh, Russian and international uh, big companies, uh, which will uh, share their achievements, their experience, and their vision of this very important uh, uh, trend in project management also. Uh, next slide, please. And I'm also very grateful to our uh, bronze sponsor, which is international uh, organization, Agile Business Consortium. Uh, and you can see that they are very um, dynamic and interested and uh, we also invite you to their uh, presentation at the Congress, which all, already Oksana mentioned in the program. And that's it, I think. And with this slide, our partners, please, next slide. And uh, this is a very important slide for us, for me. And in the top, you can see our organizers. First, it is IPMA, and it is a good chance for me to reminds that it's not Sovnet Congress, it's IPMA Congress. And we are very grateful that uh, International Program Committee worked hard during two years and prepared this robust uh, pro program. And uh, of course, we are working very close with IPMA uh, management. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the results of uh, our very close cooperation. And IPMA is the first organizer of the Congress. Sovnet is a host, and uh, for us, Congress is very important because it was uh, designed as a celebration of 30 years of Sovnet in 2020. Now it will be our celebration of uh, 31 years. 
of uh, our association. And we hope and we do all our best for the success of the Congress. We have co-organizers, and very important co-organizer is analytical center of the Russian government, which uh, helps us. Our operator is uh, win business decision group of companies, and we are supported by the uh, few uh, Russian federal authorities. It is the Ministry of Digital Development and Communications, Ministry of Trade and Industry, and some other uh, ministries also. And our, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> our professional partners. And first of all, I want to underline our cooperation with PMI chapters. It is a Moscow PMI chapter and St. Petersburg PMI chapters, uh, which are actively participate in preparation of the uh, Congress. And it is our professional partners, uh, the market uh, actors. It is a group of companies, project practice, uh, project managers, factory company, project alliance, Advanta, uh, knowledge management alliance, agency for the development of project management, uh, center for uh, development of project management and uh, evaluation, group of companies, uh, um, EMSoft and uh, HR market employer. There are some others, other partners which are not in this slide, it's also the academic partners, Academy of uh, Management, and some, some others also. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander. Um, I suppose we have a little time for uh, some question, if you have. And also, I remind you that we have a few days before the price increase for offline participants. From the 1st of September, the price will be increased. Um, and uh, of course, if you are interested, you can call us or send us a mail and you can find uh, contact details uh, in the chat uh, here in the webinar or, uh, or in the website, because uh, all information we have in our website, of course,